Fahri ready? Ready. Langsung saja. Kita persilakan Dewan Juri yang akan mendampingi Muhammad Fahri di Station Final ada Head Judge Joe, Sensory Judge Sandy, Sensory Judge Rani, Sensory Judge Andrew. Oke, okay, saya ulangi, Shadow Judge, Karisa, dan Chandra. Silakan hey, judges. Head Judge ready? Sensory Judge ready? Shadow Judge ready? I hope this moment can be fun, enjoyable, and memorable. Amin. Boleh musik saya? Bismillah, 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 bismillah. Time. A great cup of coffee is all about common sense and basic knowledge. Good morning, judges. I am Fahri from Samarinda, is Borneo. During this pandemic, I often do share at my social media about a thing that I love. Of course, coffee. I did some live streaming, podcast, and post in my feeds to share or discuss anything about coffee, like coffee information, coffee people, brewing methods, coffee memes, and sometimes about industry. Then I realized the most frequently asked question from the people is about the brewing method. The question is like, Fahri, how to find the variable A? Ri, how to find the right variable B, C, or D? Bang Fahri, Bang Fahri, Bang Fahri, what is the best tools? Yeah, just calm down. I am a simple person. My answer to them is always same. Whatever you want to do for your brewing method is based on the coffee that you had. So today I want to share how I treat the brewing method based on the coffee that I got from my roster. And now the first important thing that I must to know to make my decision for brewing method is to know the coffee information itself. That humble coffee is come from Panama. Finca Deborah by Jameson Savage. Planted at 1900 meters above sea level. The variety is geisha, and the process is nitro and aerobic nitro. Judges, the point of this information that I can take for the treatment is geisha variety and natural process. We keep that. And the second thing that I think is also important to know is the roasting profile. My roster said that coffee has a light roast profile, roasted for 60 minutes in Ikawa. And DTR is 15%. Can you just guess what the point of this formation? Yes, it is a light roast coffee. So I have three important points. Geisha variety, natural process, and light roast profile. And what must I do with this three information to make my brewing optimal? Yeah, just I will explain while brewing this coffee for you. I take the Geisha point first. As we knew, Geisha has a great acidity great flavor but lack of body so i decided to use flat bottom dripper specifically every brewer why not con shape dripper or fruit immersion to get body because the basic purpose of flat bottom is to enhance the body sweetness and layering flavor and i think geisha need that it is different from con shape dripper that good on acidity or full immersion that cannot get the complexity like pour over. An April brewer has larger surface area. It's allow me to use coarser grain size, but at the same time still get the longer contact time so I can get the higher extraction and reaching the clean cup on the final result. And the ceramics material makes the coffee has better after this. Judges, excuse me, I want to take the kettle. And the next point is light rose. We all know that light roast retain more enzymatic flavor. It means much more fruity notes, but sometimes the flavor is too mild and lack of structure. That's the reason I created a recipe to highlight a well balance of acidity and sweetness while developing its texture. So, 
I'm using 13 gram of ground coffee with a medium coarse grain size at Comandante. The water temperature is 92 degrees Celsius and the water content is 150 ppm. Total water is 200 gram and the brewing time is 2 minutes 40 seconds. This recipe makes the all attribute in ideal intensity. And the last point is natural process, which is related to our brain technique. Natural process has intense sweetness, so we need a right technique to open up the complexity and the uniqueness. That's why I'm using four pours to bring out more flavor from this coffee. Judges, each pour consists of 50 grams of water with all 40 second contact time. And of course, every pour has a function. The first two pours are percolation, while the last two pours are semi immersion as the waterfall will slow down with the time. Let me explain one by one. The first pour, to fully saturate the dry coffee and prevent channeling in the next pour. The second pour, it's time to extract the fruity notes and brighten up the acidity. The third pour, my favorite semi-immersion, extracting the sweetness compound and adding multiple layers of acidity. Finally, the last word, phew, to achieve a nice balance in body with juicy mouthfeel and get the clean finish. Judges, now we'll talk about the result of my treatment or the testing notes. Are you ready? For the first, the aroma. You will find candied peach and jasmine tea aromatic. For the flavor, when it's hot, you will get candied peach and pineapple. When it's warm, you will get mandarin orange, candied peach, and strawberry. And when it's cold, the flavor is like the aroma, candied peach and jasmine tea aromatic. After the taste of this coffee, it's a medium to long candied sweet. Acidity in this coffee. We start from medium malic acid, like stone fruit, followed by medium citric acid, like mandarin orange, when it's hot to warm, and then become more medium tartaric acid, like grapes, when it cools down. The body in this coffee is a medium and round, with clean tactile, and become more juicier, when temperature down. For the balance, the all attributes supporting each other makes the coffee has great structure. And the overall, this coffee is very sweet, complex, and has good flavor integrity. Judges, now is the moment of truth, but please follow my protocol. Please stir first 15 times with your cupping spoon to cool it down, and then lift the cup to smell the aroma. For evolve the flavor and SDT, please use your cupping spoon. And to evolve the body and aftertaste, please drink it directly from the cup. Are you ready to try? Let's go. It's for you, Mas Andrew. Enjoy. I'm sorry to sing left hand. It's for you, Barani. Enjoy. I'm sorry to sing left hand. It's for you, Mas Andy. Enjoy. I'm sorry to sing left hand. Yeah, just let me clean the station. Excuse me.
Can I get your attention again? Thank you. How's the coffee? It's nice. Having experience as Brewers Champs makes me understand that I have responsibility to remind everybody. So I'm here in this stage, just want to say, we must strong in the basic, like we know the basic characteristic of the coffee, the purpose of the tool that we use, and we know the other variable that can help us and relate it to optimize the brewing method. Then what, judges? When we are, when we are was strong in that rules, common sense and basic knowledge, believe me, anyone can brew. Thank you for your time and your coffee. See you at Melbourne. Amin. Assalamualaikum. Time.